Hi everyone, Greg here. Well, today we've come to Guzman Y Gomez. <laughs> I know that'll annoy some people. And we're gonna try a spicy pulled pork burrito. We got it free on the app. I don't know how, but we managed. So let's go in and get one and try a pork burrito from Guzman Y Gomez. <laughs> Here we go, the Guzman E. Gomez burrito. Normally 11.50, I think. We paid zero dollars. All right, well, let's open this bad boy up. Okay. Nice and fancy bag, this one. Here we go. One burrito, spicy pork, here we come. Okay. How do you even get into it? How beautifully wrapped is it? It almost feels like a shame to ruin that beautiful wrapping. Okay, right. Whoa, boy, have a look at that. Looks pretty good, huh? So we got the spicy pork, so I can't wait to see how spicy it is. But we also got some extra sauce here some extra hot sauce just in case that's not spicy enough and i got everyone's favorite some jalapenos as well yum just in case anyway let's bite into this Man, that was too big a bite, I tell you what. Some movie producers might be calling me up after they see how big a bite I took of that burrito. <laughs> so, the pulled pork. Well, it does have some kick to it, the sauce that they put in there. But on its own, mm, super juicy and quite tasty. This rice that they use, it's got the beans in there and everything. Oh, that looks appetizing. Not. <laughs> Not too bad. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. I scored the mother load of the pork here. I'm a lucky boy. Mm. Beautifully seasoned, beautifully nice and tender, and really nice and juicy. Now, this is the hottest one you can get, the hot spicy one, but to me, it is warm in the mouth but it's not like super hot or super spicy. So you know what? I think I'm gonna add some extra spice to it. But before I do that, let's just try some of this pastry. Or as we call it in burrito land, burrito. Soft, fresh, doughy, just the way it should be, I think. All right, let's add some extra sauces. Ah, okay. Got some jalapenos here. I hope these are spicy. Let's see if it is. Not particularly, <laughs> until you swallow it. <coughs> and then it is. This sauce has just squirted all over my finger. Mm. This is the hot sauce. It's actually pretty tasty. It's got some nice flavors there. My burrito bag's blowing everywhere because it's windy. Let's add some extra in here. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Come at me, brother. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. 
Ooh. Oh, that was way too much sauce. Said no one ever. Oh, no, that was way too much sauce. <laughs> Note to self don't put way too much sauce on this because it will drown out every other bit of flavor that there might have been but all in all no that's not a bad feed 11 bucks something though Ooh. you want to have a job to be able to afford this sort of thing <laughs> the flavor in it well i mean it's not bad but it, there's nothing exciting about it there's no like wow factor to it it's sort of a bit bland and a bit boring tasting even with the sauce and extra jalapenos now it is a good weight and it is kind of bulky Although it is carbs on carbs, so you probably want to be watching your carb levels. If carbs isn't what you want, then I definitely would say not to get one of these. But all in all, it's not exciting. It hasn't got the wow factor. It's a little bit bland, but if you're hungry, I'm pretty sure this will fill you up because it is pretty decent size and it'll take some eating to get through. Unless, of course, you're a big eater and then you probably need two or three of them. So. But would I come and get another spicy pork burrito again? No, I don't think I would. I think I'd probably stick to something else like a beef or I don't know, something that's got some real flavors about it because this just doesn't cut the mustard for me. And for an all over value, all over price, all over taste, all over everything score for this spicy pork burrito, I'm giving it a... 5.7 out of 10. It's all carbs on carbs. The meat's really nice, but the rest of it's, you know, it's just bland and it's a bit boring. It is a good size, but you are paying for it. So what's your favorite burrito from Guzman Y Gomez? I know I wouldn't be getting this one again, but you know, I'll try a few more of their products to see if they're any better. Hopefully they are. Anyway, that's all today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I eat something. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen where the review